welcome to Prima Chemistry classes. In this video, I am going to discuss about intermediate first year chemistry topic stoichiometry. In this stoichiometry topic, I am going to discuss about significant figures. What are significant figures? How to calculate the number of significant figures in a given number? This is one of the important topic in intermediate, not only intermediate, for competitive exams such as MSET, FSET or JE mains or NEET. There is a chance to ask questions to calculate the number of significant figures. Thank you for watching Tranad Chemistry classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel. So significant figures. So before going to this, what are the significant figures? We need to understand why we have to study this content. Why we have to know number of significant figures in a given any experimental value or calculated value. Right? So you, when you do an experiment, for example, I have given a why. I asked you to measure its length. So the length got on a pool. In length of the present sheet of low monkey, general government, your piece of nursery, a measurement loan in a survey, it is associated with some uncertainty. Associated with some uncertainty. That is, every experimental measurement has some amount of uncertainty associated with it. So that means uncertainty means, for example, if length is, if we have mentioned 11.2, its length actually, the way, what we can say is exact amount, value 11. But this point two is uncertain. Suppose if I say length is 11.23, then what I can predict is its certain value is 11.2 and this 0 0.03 is uncertain, which may be around plus or minus 0 0.01 or plus or minus 0 0.02, right? So it may be 11.24 or it may be 11.21. So you, we cannot generally all experimental results associated with some kind of uncertainty. Means uh, if you do one titration, one time you will get 20.1, next time you may get 20.2, and then another time, another third time, you may get 20.3. So here, this is exact. We, we can predict, we can say exact with a certain, certain number. And but this varies. So in generally, all experimental results associated with some kind of uncertainty. uncertainty. So here, uh, one generally, everyone should expect, one should always like the results to be precise and accurate. We need, to, we need to know what is a precision and what is an accuracy. Before going to the significant figures, we need to know the two words. One is the accuracy. What is accuracy? Accuracy means increment of particular value to be increment of increment of a particular value to the true value. Agreement of a particular value to the true value, we are calling it as the accuracy. So what is an accuracy? The accuracy is the agreement of a particular value to the agreement of a particular value to the true value of the result. True value of the result. So, for example, for example, in an experiment, accuracy is the increment of a particular value to the particular value to the true value of the result. So, for example, in a titration, the volume of HCl required to neutralize the sodium carbonate is the true value is 21. So, if I am getting around 20.1, this is an accurate result. So, if I am getting 20.9, this is an accurate result. So, the true value is 20.1 and my experimental result is 20.9. Uh, 
it is not in good agreement with the true values. That's why whatever I have got, I got that is not an accurate result. So agreement of a particular value to the true value of the result is, is called accuracy. Agreement of a particular value to the true value of the result is called accuracy. Right? So how close to the true value? An experimental value. For example, if I have done some experiment, that result that whatever value I am getting, how much close to the true value, that only we are indicated with accuracy. If it is very close, then we can say that the result is accurate. If it is not close, we can say it is not accurate. It is not accurate. So accuracy is the agreement of a particular value, particular value to the true value we are calling it as the accuracy. There is a one more term, precision. So what is precision? Precision means closeness of a closeness of closeness of various measurements. Closeness of various measurements for the same quantity. For the same quantity, the precision, precision represents the closeness of various measurements for the same quantity. So if I have done some experiment 10 times, 10 times I have done some experiment. So one time I, am, I got 20.1. Another time I got 20.2. Third time I got 20.1. And fourth time I got 20.0. Uh, and fifth time I got 20.2. Sixth time I got 20.1. This 20.1. Then 20.0. And uh, this is around 21, 20.1. Now, all these 10 experimental results, all these 10 experimental results are close. The they are very 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 close to each other. That's why that results are very very precise. We can say that. Suppose I have done some experiment. I got the result like this. So two twenty point one, twenty point five, nineteen point one, and twenty one point three. Then twenty five point. So now these results are not precise because they are not close to each other. If the, all the results are close to each other then we can say that the results are very precise. So precision refers to the closeness of various measurements for the same quantity. Right? Precision refers to the closeness of various measurements, various measurements for the same quantity. So if I have done an experiment multiple times, if all the results are close to each other, then we can say that the experimental results are precise. If they are not close to each other, the experimental results are not precise. Not precise. So generally, uh, I have already told uh, the experimental results generally associated with some kind of uncertainty. So uncertainty, uncertainty, uncertainty or uncertainty in the experimental results or calculated values is indicated by the mentioning the number of significant figures. Indicating the number of significant figures. So now, what are the significant figures? Significant figures are the significant figures are the meaningful digits. Meaningful digits. Meaningful, meaningful digits which are known. Which are Known with certainty, which are known with certainty. So, Marki, ye yakada work by the exact gaman kachitanga, ye result ekra work and chapgalma, what name on amount now taken a country, significant figures and chipna. Significant figures are the meaningful digits which are known with certainty. So, the in that number, the uncertainty is indicated by writing the certain digits and the last uncertain digit. For example, if we write an exper experimental result as 19.9, so 
what we can say is 19 is certain and that 9 is not certain. It is uncertain. It is uncertain. Generally, uncertainty in the number can be represented with plus or minus something. Suppose if I say plus or minus 0 0.1. So, uncertainty is 0 0.1 here. So, it may be 19.8 or it may be 20 points. Right? So, uncertainty in a given number is expressed by mentioning their significant digits. So, significant digits are the meaningful digits of a meaningful digits meaningful digits of which are known with certainty, which are known with certainty. So, to calculate the number of significant factors, there are certain rules. So, we have to follow the, those rules to calculate the significant figures. The first one is all non-zero digits. All non-zero digits are significant. Are significant. All non-zero digits are significant. For example, if I say 285 centimeters, so the number of significant figures here are 3. Suppose if I say 1165 mm, then the number of significant figures are 4. All non-zero digits are significant. For example, if I write some 0 0.39, the number of significant figures are 2. Because here 0, it is not, it is not a non-zero number. That's why this is not a significant. If I write 0 0.0012, 1, 2, 3, the number of significant figures are 3. Number of significant figures are 3. And uh, this is the first rule. All non-zero digits are significant. All non-zero digits are significant. And the second one is and the second one is zeros proceeding to the zeros proceeding to the first non-zero digit. First non-zero digit. First non-zero digit are not significant. Not significant. So, for example, if I write 0 0.39, so uh, the, it is the non-zero digit. The zeros below before the preceding means before the non-zero digit are insignificant. That's why this number has two significant figures. Suppose if I write 0 0.019, this number also 193, this number has three significant figures. So, all these zeros are present before the non-zero digit. That's why these are insignificant. So, A0 like the non-zero number ki, non-zero digit ki mundon taayu, avanni kura yente jipna insignificant. Right? So, this is the second rule. And third rule is zeros between the two non-zero digits. Zeros between two non-zero digits are significant. Are significant. And a rundu non zero digits majulo with cheta to one t. Zeros even as a significant outside. For example, 3.001. So this number has a four significant figures. Because these zeros are generally uh, all uh, zeros mundun take an account. I will insignificant out tonight. But between the two non zero digits majulo one at one by the yamut nine bit no significant out tonight. Right? Then next one is. The next rule is zeros. Zeros at the end. Zeros at the end or zeros at the end or right of a number. Right of a number. Or right of a number or significant. Significant provided. Provided they are on the they are on the right side of the they are on the right side of the they are on the right side of the decimal point. Right zeros at the end or right of a number are significant provided they are on the right side of the decimal point. So, here, for example, if you take 1.10, 1 
right this zero is right side of the decimal point that's why this zero is significant right for example 2.100 so these zeros are significant because they are on the right side of the decimal point so number of significant figures are 5 for example if you take 100 or 200 this has only one significant so the zeros at the end or right side of a number end low one at one is significant out the input and taken up and decimal key the right side of the NA can be significant out the right so for example if you 200 low this put the one significant figure in this now are they 200 point and with them number of significant figures in and taken up and mood out there right so I like out on the 200 point zero and now you can any significant figures out there and all the significant figures out there right so the zeros at the end or at the end of a number or right of a number are significant provided they are on they are provided they are on the right side of the decimal point they are on the right side of the decimal point and next one is counting of objects counting of objects counting of the number of objects counting of number of objects has infinite number of significant figures Counting of number of objects. Number of objects has infinite number of significant figures. For example, if we say 12, 20x, 20x is very, very certain. That's why it is uh, it has infinite number of significant figures. For example, if we say two balls, then two is very, very certain. That's why it has infinite number of significant figures. So these are the rules to calculate the number of significant figures in a given number. So significant figures are the meaningful digits of a number, meaningful digits of a number known with certain known with certainty, right? So uh, in you know, IP exam or any kind of objective exam such as M set, question uh, like number of significant figures in my challenge. IP exam like a country, Okan Nalagay do numbers the chief, or two marks question of this Punta can conduct Nalag number lichi, number of significant figures, Pradidan Kokaramar Kuntuni, rather run this take and a Kokamar Kuntuni. So significant figures and taken a Kayanjipna, meaningful digits which are known with certainty are called significant figures. So thank you for watching Trinath chemistry classes. Please like the video, share, and subscribe the channel.